Hi, good day. So, <clears throat> hope everyone is doing okay and is having a good weekend. All of the readings have been completed, so if you're interested in a reading, my information is in the description box below. So this is just going to be a general <coughs> read, whatever comes out like normal per usual. <laughs> okay, whatever comes out. <coughs> so spirit, what do we need to know? Six of Cups. So this is about reconciliation. So you could be reconciling with someone or soon to reconcile with someone. Could be a Knight of Swords here. This person is coming in pretty quickly. Okay. White horse could be significant. A white horse. <sighs> Let me look up what the spiritual significance of a white horse is. Freedom, success, and triumph over negative forces. So this purity, power, and transformation. White horses are signs of success and good fortune. So can't make it up. This is someone who's triumphing, going towards their freedom, success, and triumphing both of you, really. But this person in particular triumphing over negative forces. So whoever this is, or whoever you are, could be multiple of you I'm hearing, there was a lot of negative forces, negative influences that did not want you two together. But nobody is above the most high. So period, point blank, okay? <laughs> That's crazy to even think that you are more powerful than your own creator like sit down <laughs> so mm -mm. okay so <laughs> nobody's gonna take what is destined for you it is your birthright okay. so just keep that in mind as long as you're in alignment with your higher self listening to your intuition doing what you need to do you will always end up where you need to be period the end Yeah, Eight of Swords. So these people could have tried to have you trapped in your mind. Could have tried to fuck with your crown chakra, your third eye, or both. Yeah, not working. I feel like they did this to this masculine, too. I feel like this is a masculine. Clarify who the Knight of Swords is. Yeah, they had this person in a Five of Cups energy at one point. Feeling like all is lost. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Like, at one point, this person did, I feel like, abandon their own destiny at one point. And they felt like giving up. And they did for a short amount of time, I feel. But... Their person is a high priestess, and she did something. This high priestess that their counterpart, that their their counterpart is, did something. The well, she co-created with Gaia. That's what this talks about: co-creating with Gaia, creating something. And this, I feel like, brought this masculine out of this negative energy. So this could have been just her, this, okay. This is her standing in her power. She used her, her ability, her essence, her magic to help him. 
she may have done this without knowing, without realizing. She knew that he was stuck in hangman position. She looked at, she saw something differently. She had a realization about something as well. About the connection. <sighs> Ace of Wands. This is what created this new energy. So what, how did this affect the masculine? How did this affect her um, masculine? Ace of Cups opened up his heart space. She could have unblocked her sacral chakra that could have been blocked because the wands talks about sexual energy okay and our divine masculine energy resides rests in our sacral chakra so i feel like this divine feminine this high priestess called her power back started co-creating started using her energy to do what needs to be done and she did She's bringing in this lover, this Ace of Wands, and this Ace of Cups. And there were forces opposing it. Period. The tower. Now their ass is kicked out. So I feel like these people are kicked out of your energy. They were kicked out quickly. So whatever it is that she did... She or he did, ejected anybody and anything that was in their energy. Quickly. So what did she do? She could have called judgment on her enemies. Could have did return to senders. Okay. Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. That's someone who took action. She took an action. What was it? Sunflowers could be significant here. You can look up the spiritual meaning of the sunflower. <clears throat> she took action to cut through an illusion that was happening. There was a bunch of people trying to create illusions. Right. She cut through it. She removed the illusion. She cut through all of that. By ejecting these people out of her energy. Temperance. This created balance within both of them. And that's why the sun is now here. So you think of the seven of cups as clouds. Like a clouded sky, right? By her taking action to remove the clouds, she created balance within that sacral chakra, bringing in that Ace of Cups, which your sacral is directly connected to your heart space. So that could have unblocked her heart space as well. Unblocking that sacral, really standing in your power in that divine masculine energy, but also balancing that feminine energy. That's what happened here. This is someone who took their power back. And I'm speaking of it as a singular sense, but Spirit is saying there was multiple of you that did this, <clears throat> not just one of you. And this is now why you're standing in the sun. The clouds are over. This looks like a fish. So some of you could be connected to some kind of fish deity. Okay, but a fish is significant here. <clears throat> Spirit is saying that as well. <clears throat> page of cups page of swords so yeah this was research this was something that she was shown and there's a fish in that cup i'm telling you something about a fish <laughs> something about a fish you received some kind of information about i feel like this was from your guides 
Could have been from the Most High. All the above. Okay? <clears throat> and this is what prompted the action. Yeah, this is bringing in an Ace of Pentacles. So we've had the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and now the Ace of Pentacles. Okay? <laughs> Anything else you want to say about this spirit? Nine of Wands. This was a fight. This was a fight. This was difficult. This was painful hurtful I feel like a lot of people stabbed you in the back for their own gain trying to gain something here what were they trying to gain so funny look how that card fell on top of this though look how that card fell on top of that that's okay because your person is coming Three of Cups. They wanted to steal your peace. They wanted to steal your celebration. They wanted to steal your essence, your destiny, Empress, your Ten of Cups. Wanted to steal your Ten of Pentacles. That is crazy. Ten, ten. They wanted to take everything from you. <laughs> After all of the work that you did, after all of this, these people thought that they were just going to come into your life and take all your shit that you had worked for. And some even thought they were going to take your man. <laughs> okay? And could have even mm, tried to manifest an, their own man by using the essence of your person. I don't know why people think they can do this. Obviously, they're getting information from the wrong source. Definitely isn't the most high God. <laughs> they should have used their discernment on that one. Should have had a little bit more sense than to think that what you were doing was, was right. Yep. Spirit is saying you're not going to earn anything you didn't work for. These people didn't work for this. Trying to manifest off of someone someone else's energy is not working for shit. That's what Spirit is saying. You're not going to take what someone else worked for. No, not happening. You will have a missed opportunity because judgment has been called. The heavens will not allow this, basically. Mm-mm. This empress is an earth angel because she's above the clouds here. Some of you didn't know this. Whoever, some of you didn't know this about yourself, but others who went against this person didn't know this about this person. So people could could have thought that you had like negative um, protection or something I'm hearing <laughs> or viewed you. I feel like they thought you were a karmic. That's what I think. I, th I think that they just thought that what I'm channeling is that whoever these people are, and it was a group, thought that you were just some karmic ass bitch. Excuse my language, but that's what I'm hearing. You didn't do shit in your life. You didn't go through anything. And you just think you're something you're not. But they were completely dead ass wrong. And now they're reaping what they sown. So whatever they didn't work for, that's what they're getting. So, basically, they're sitting in a four of cups with a missed opportunity because they didn't do shit. But the whole time, you were doing work. They thought you were a fraud. But they were the fraud. Which is weird because if you thought this person was a fraud, then why would you try to take their destiny? It almost gives, gives the, 
gives the energy of like someone just thought that you were given a title without nothing like you didn't have to work for it you were just you were just given this that just tells me that someone is a dumbass because if you are connected in the spiritual realm in any in any point in time if you are connected at all if you have any knowledge you already know how this works That's not possible. I feel like these people are, are like witches though. And I say that in a, like a dark witch, like in a derogatory sense. Okay. This is not white witches. These are not healers. These are people who are thieves, con artists, scammers, that type of shit. And now justice is here. Now they're going to carry what they wanted you to carry. They're going to be in a nine of swords energy. They're going to be trying to fight off shit. So the same shit that they tried to send to you, do to you, want for you is coming back to them. It's probably already here for some of them. For some of you, for some of these people, it's already here. It's already here tower told you that's what i'm hearing ten of swords again well nine of swords to the ten of swords these people are already getting messed up yeah this has been a long time coming this is to make them judgment judgment again to make them realize that their actions is going to get them everything that they wanted <laughs> 2020 2019 could be significant everything that they took action to do they're gonna get it so everything that they wanted for you they're gonna get it nicely wrapped <clears throat> i don't know these people these people obviously have egos through the roof okay this this feels like spiritual narcissism to me not feels it is using spirituality to gain using spirituality to try to manipulate that's just dead ass wrong and <laughs> the spiritual realm don't play with people like that so neither will your ancestors both of your ancestors and the energies that protect you. Somebody thought that you were just a peasant. <laughs> Death is here. Death is in front of the Queen of Swords. I feel like the Queen of Swords is you too cutting through all this bullshit. Death was here as a companion. I was channeling that too. Death's Bride something like that this was a person this was an energy entity whatever that was protecting this queen of swords notice how this energy is in front of the queen of swords <laughs> also assisting to get your nine of cups seven of swords <laughs> Death was here because there was a lot of people in this Seven of Swords, Three of Swords energy slowing everything up. Knight of Pentacles, slowing everything up. Ace of Swords, not anymore. death comes on the black horse <laughs> that's what i just heard death comes on the black horse i don't know what that means i know that's from the bible but i don't know what that what context that means let's see that's war famine and plague right that's what that is war famine and plague this wasn't smart i feel like this is a whole group of people that have 
bullied mul multiple divine feminines. Or maybe bullied people in general. Maybe they do this. They, I feel like they think this is a game. This is funny. I feel like they thought that they were on top of the world or something. Like they couldn't be touched. They crossed their, this, the path with this divine feminine on purpose so that they would get their karma. Oh no. Four of wands. Five of swords. Ace of cups. The artist. Nine of cups. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups, Strength, The Fool. <laughs> this is what they're going to watch you gain. The Wheel of Fortune, this 11-11 Four of Wands, this love, this relationship, your strength, your new beginning, your wish fulfillment. They're going to have to watch you do all of this, just like you've been doing everything on your own already. Now they're going to watch you get everything on your damn own. <clears throat> anything else you want to say about death why death was out here blocking not blocking oh oh blocking divine feminines energy from these people that's what it is hmm. yep <laughs> they were trying to see into what you were doing with your king of pentacles here who is also your king of cups. Notice this is the knight of cups. This is, um, this is, this would be death blocking what they were trying to see. I feel like it could have been a couple or it could have been both male and female energies doing this. <clears throat> Notice how she's trying to see. She's like, damn, I can't see anymore. What the fuck is this? I need my glasses and he can't see shit. He's too high up. They got blocked. This was like someone looking into someone's life. Physically and spiritually, I feel. Somebody is a Pisces out here. There is a heavy Pisces energy out here that was doing the most. And a, and a fire sign doing the most. And I feel like a Taurus doing the most. Actually, I feel like it was all signs doing the most. Yeah, the world, it was. Thank you. That's clarity. The world does represent all signs. Spirit is saying it was all signs doing this to you. I don't know. This is crazy. Like <laughs> the fact that these people will go up against the most high, but I'm hearing that they didn't, they don't praise the same God you do. This is a crazy message. They don't praise the same God. They don't. I, I don't know if they think they do. I feel like some think they do. Some think that they're doing right when they're actually not. They're being, they're being infiltrated by the false light. And some know that they're not and they don't give a shit. That's what I'm getting. And I think these people are even keeping secrets from each other. Okay? So eventually they're going to turn on each other. This is a lot of mess. This is a lot of mess. I don't know. <laughs> this, is, this is a mess. Page of Pentacles, Four of Cups, a missed opportunity. They're going to realize what they did, though. Spirit is saying they're going to be shown. So these people will be shown why they have a missed opportunity why they are broke why they don't have love they're going to be left broke without love and they're going to they're going to be shown why this happened so period t while you're in a nine of pentacles temperance energy they're going to be in an eight of cups just how they had your masculine while the two of you have ten of pentacles this is the both of your judgments this is judgment for the both of you. So your masculine could have called judgment too. 
<laughs> mm. It's my cat talking to me, looking dead at me. What? As I started saying that, he started whining and he's a masculine. What? 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 My baby. Anything else we need to know? I wasn't anticip I was anticipating more of a cheerful message from Spirit today, but that's not what I'm getting. So just to everyone, keep doing, keep listening to your intuition, keep living with integrity, keep doing what you're supposed to do. That's how you know that you're doing the right thing, okay? Keep healing. Listen to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you something is not right about a person, listen to it. That is your inner guide. I don't care who these people are. I don't care who or what they say they are. I don't give a shit. They're lying. Okay? If your intuition is giving you a nudge or a knock and you just know something is wrong, it's because it is wrong. Period. Seven of Cups. Thank you. It's because they're, they are mask. They could be cloaking themselves in someone's energy. And so your intuition is trying to warn you of this. So this is an illusion, Spirit is saying. These people are coming towards you saying, oh, I have your best interest at heart. Oh, blah, blah, blah. But yet they're cloaking themselves in someone else's energy or they're hiding. They're masked up. That's not who they are. I feel like they live from their reptilian brain and they're trying to pretend that they're spiritual. That's, that's what it feels like to me. That's what it looks like. That's what I'm channeling. Okay. You can easily discern when someone does that or not. Okay. You can easily discern. If someone is leaning more into logic than their own intuition, then you already know they're lying and that they're living from their reptilian brain. Okay. Yes, you have to balance logic and intuition, but you know if someone is actually intuitive or not. You know, you know by the things that they say, by what they say, okay? If they're reading people's body language, they're not feeling energy, okay? If they describe something to you and they're reading expressions and reading language, that's a dead-ass giveaway that you're not an empath, that you are not feeling energy. You're not channeling shit. You're reading someone's body language. Maybe you have a high IQ, but you're not intuitive. So stop with the bullshit. Stop the lying. You're probably a witch, and you're doing magic. But do you have an essence? No, you don't. You never had one. That's why you got to use black magic. Period T. <laughs> the moon. This is what was hidden. They were trying to hide. They're not being hidden anymore. They're not allowed. I don't know. That's over. That's over. <clears throat> I don't know. This just feels like someone's getting an ass beaten. I don't know. Or they're not they're not going to be able to live in your energy or be around you or any of that. They may have thought that they had the same protection you did, but they didn't. They didn't. They didn't and they never will. Cuz they got the inner the protection Oh, Lord, I told you the devil. This is information going towards the devil. I'm telling you, what did I say? That this person is getting, or these people, right? It's people is getting information that they don't pray or they don't worship the same God you do. I'm telling you. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't make it fit. Okay, obviously. If it does, then now you have answers. And they tried to keep you and your masculine. This is a female. This is a male. You, they tried to keep you and your masculine in this devil energy for something. To continue this cycle. Where this devil energy was on top. That's not happening. That's not happening. Not in this lifetime. Bye bye. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, <laughs> Page of Cups. So 
Someone's definitely going to get pregnant. You're moving forward. You're doing the work. You got out of the Eight of Swords. What do you want to say about this pregnancy? This pregnancy is something else that's not going to be stopped either. Temperance. Yeah, it's going to come in now that you're balanced. Okay. It's all about balance. This child will also bring balance. Yeah, high priestess. There will be high priestess who get pregnant. <clears throat> it's already written. That's what Spirit is saying. It's already written. Queen of Pentacles, this is your birthright. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. King of Wands, three, uh, Will of Fortune, Death, the Chariot. This King of Wands did try to stop you from, from this happening. Whoever this King of Wands is, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whoever this fire sign masculine energy is, is a weirdo. They tried to stop you from moving forward, but they're not God. So goodbye. Sit your ass down. I can't stand people who think that they're above your own creator. How are you going to be above? Well, we already know how that goes. We already know whose energy that is. Who thought that they were above the creator? Right. We know. Okay. Keep thinking that. Right. And that's why your ass is in the seven of swords energy. Because you're a liar. You're a manipulator. And you're going to end up exactly where you need to be in the ten of swords. Goodbye. <laughs> While this emperor is getting this ace of pentacles with his empress. Can't make it up. Three of pentacles. This is a relationship that he his, is his birthright. This high priestess. I feel like these people, yeah, you're coming in as everything in the deck. Because you are everything. You encompass everything in the deck. You have learned all of your lessons. Right. <clears throat> Queen of Cups, the Lovers, Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands. Y'all fought. The Hermit. Y'all fought. Ten of Pentacles. Now it's time to receive. So what is this person's... What does the masculine want to say to the feminine here? <clears throat> oh. do the masculines want to say to the feminines boop, boop, boop. you're mysterious <laughs> showing out i'm acting like i don't care but i just want to appear appear unbothered when i think about you i cry you're my soulmate it must be written in the stars i told you it's written even he knows it's written what does the feminine want to say to the masculine? What does the feminine want to say to the masculine? What does the feminine want to say to the masculine? Showing out. <laughs> I'm acting like I don't care, but I just want to appear unbothered. When I think about you, I cry. Wow. Same energy here. Father wounds. Ooh. My father is a big influence on my behavior. I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally. I feel like this feminine though is healing this or has healed this because this was the problem with the sacral, remember? So are they getting over this? Are they healing this here, spirit? Are they healing this or have healed this? That's a yes. That's a yes, okay? And this is what is bringing in this manifestation, okay? That's sacral energy. <clears throat> You're getting through it. You're getting through it. Anything else you want to say about this father wounds here? Queen of Pentacles. So you could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Yeah. The Fool. But you have let this go. You have healed this. This took a very long time for you to heal this father wound. 
And the father wound is all about having boundaries, right? So that's the divine masculine energy within us. This is about remembering our boundaries, remembering our worth, realizing what we deserve and what we don't deserve, all of that, okay? And this is how the dark, <clears throat> this is how God uses the dark, right? All these people that went up against you, all they did was make you stronger, period. <gasps> the end. They made you heal, they helped you heal your father wounds. But unfortunately for them, now they have to reap what they have sown. And what they have sown is not a good harvest, okay? So it's nothing but lack. So anyways, yeah. Four of Wands, okay? So that's what you're receiving. This is the fruits of your labor. Uh yeah, two of wands, you're manifesting this. It took a long time. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, but it's coming, okay? Mm. Spirit, anything you want to say about this child? I'm curious. Anything you want to say about this child that is trying to be born? I'm using this deck ghosted. I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. So you're meant to have a child with someone who could have ghosted you. A pink carnation is significant for some of you. You needed time. This person needed time to heal. You could have blocked them. This person is or was attached to their ex. But you are their favorite person. So Spirit is saying that's who you're meant to have a child with. Just for clarification clarity here <clears throat> anything else you want to say about this child virgo energy three of cups this is going to be a celebration six of wands this is coming King of Swords. Could be with a King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Hierophant. Who is a Hierophant? This is your Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant is the male version of the High Priestess. This is a High Priest. This is who you're meant to have a child with. And you will have a child with this person. King of Cups. Told you. <clears throat> King of Cups. This person is literally encompassing all of the kings in the deck. Six of Pentacles. Because things are balanced now. This will be reciprocity. I don't feel like it was reciprocity reciprocal before. I feel like this person, whoever this feminine energy is here, I feel like this is a guide or an angel looking over this connection. <clears throat> and she's holding scales. This could be the energy of Gaia because that's who the divine feminine was co-creating with, that energy, the will. And Six of Pentacles is an earth energy. The Fool, High Priestess. Yeah. This is a new beginning. The Hierophant to the High Priestess. <laughs> yes. Two of Cups. Ace of Cups. This is what has been manifested. This Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords is over. There could have been a Queen of Cups that was trying to also create loss. That ain't gonna happen. This illusion and manipulation is done. Yeah, it was creating stuck energy. It created stuck energy. It kept both of you stuck. You're not stuck anymore. None of cups.
the star because you healed. The Empress, Empress, you healed. And then you co-created with Gaia, the well. You healed. It's so funny. It's like everything that happened helped you get to this space. Even the people that were against you helped you. <laughs> they didn't even realize it. You basically had to step on them to get to where you needed to go. Like, they put up barricades and barriers, but you got through it because they underestimated your strength. <laughs> and then you called judgment. <laughs> Six of Swords, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, the Tower, all of them evicted. The King of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> the both of you are going to move forward now. As you should have a long time ago. Whoever this, whoever you guys are, you're moving forward. Nothing's going to stop you from now on. Now there is going to be, if there were delays, which there were, because I'm seeing, you're not going to be delayed anymore. Nothing is going to come. There's no more inter running interference in this connection, basically, is what I'm saying. There's no more interference here. <laughs> All this illusion and shit like this, it's not going to work anymore. Because the lesson, the lessons are already, are already learned. So anyone trying to come in and manipulate and cast doubt and do funny business, it's not going to work anymore. It's not going to work. So all I can tell you is you probably want to mind your business. Just mind your business. <laughs> Before you end up stuck. That's it. <clears throat> you might want to pray for forgiveness. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. Because this is coming in quickly. This is a union coming in very, very quickly. That was... People fought hard to prevent this shit. An emperor. Yeah. An emperor is now... This is an emperor who is in this magician energy. Hierophant energy. You made him miss this opportunity. Could have been four years ago. <clears throat> four years ago. That was 2020. I told you. Something was significant about 2019-2020. But, no. See? Two of Cups, Four of Wands. Told you. Something could be significant about this black ball that this person has in his hand. And this is an Ankh, so this person has a past life in Egypt for sure. But, this person... It's weird because this person is also, it's an, this man is an old soul, but he's also a young, he also has young tendencies as well. I've been channeling Ram too. Something about a Ram is significant. Look that up. <clears throat> There's the air sign back again. This is the same person. This person sent something back to someone else. Because they're getting their Ten of Pentacles. And this is justice for this air sign. What's the Ten of Swords? It is this person is Ten of Swords and a Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign feminine, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Who could have tried to do all kinds of shit. This could have been like a head person or something. This is going to come out. This person could have tried to hold on to someone. By using black magic with the devil. Or they just had devil tendencies or both. I feel like this person is a gold digger. The four of pentacles talks about a thief. Right? Yeah, you tried to steal somebody whole ass birthright. Okay? By using devil energy. And your ass about to get left. <laughs> That's what I was.
was channeling trying to steal somebody's man. Like, that ain't that person don't even belong to you. Right. Ace of Cups strength. This person was trying to mask the, their raggedy ass energy and divine feminine's energy. Strength and Ace of Cups. And they were doing it backhanded. They could have been stalking this divine feminine and trying to be like them. Trying to take on their essence or some weird shit like that. Cloaking their energy and divine feminine's energy. Uh, but when divine feminine stood in their power stood in her power, all that shit was unveiled. Queen of Wands told you whatever whatever this divine and they were left in the five of cups energy looking raggedy and weird. Right. So now this person, now this masculine is seeing this person for who they truly are. Once Divine Feminine stepped into her power and she called all her power back and her essence back and stood in it, it's like, no, bitch, I'm actually the real Empress, not you. Right? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? That type of vibe? Yeah. It's like, oh. And then this person realized, oh, that's not who I want to be with. I feel like the same thing happened to the Divine Feminine too. Because there was a lot of... <clears throat> there was a lot of... Um, interference. Illusion. All because someone didn't want a cycle to end. Well, that shit's over and dead at anyways. The cycle's over. So I don't know what they they still trying to do what. I don't know. <laughs> the cycle has been over. So people who didn't heal are being left in the old timeline. Old earth. People who have healed are moving into the new earth. We all know that. Yep. Five of Wands. People are still trying to fight against it. But... Your ass is still going to be left in the Nine of Swords. And the Empress is getting her Emperor. Because it's her destiny. The moon. Yeah. <clears throat> she is the moon to his son. The more I sit in this energy, the more it just is wild. There was a lot of instilling fear in these people to prevent them from moving forward with one another. A lot of fear. Thank you. A lot of illusion. A lot of lies that were told about the other one to make sure that they do not come together. Because of something being dismantled. Three of cups. Seven of cups. Yeah. Th their life being dismantled. Seven of swords. Yes. And it's all because of a damn fire sign. was a fire sign going up against the empress who was a queen of wands king of wands so i'm also getting that this king of wands this fire sign could have been sexually involved involved with this queen of wands either in this lifetime or in a past life or multiple lifetimes this person is raggedy this queen of wands right here or king of, i said queen of wands this person <laughs> no stop i'm not saying that but this king of wands here this is someone who is a low vibe energy. This person is not a good person. <laughs> and they wanted you, Divine Feminine, for themselves. They wanted to steal your own person's damn Ten of Cups. They tried to take your person's destiny, basically. Just like these other people tried to take yours. It's weird, though, because at some point they went against each other. This is why they're manifesting this Nine of Swords. He's manifesting this Nine of Swords, too. This this fire sign here, masculine fire sign, 
they went up against people that were against you, Divine Feminine, because the people that were wanting to steal from you, he was like, no, I need her and her, <laughs> and her energy and her essence. So at some point, these people were fighting against each other, even. Yeah, Ace of Wands. He's like, uh-uh, you can't take her destiny because I need her in her full strength. For me to get what I want, for me to get my justice, and for me to be the full magician. But you can't take somebody's stuff. I don't know, this is weird. I don't know too much about this, but this is what I'm channeling. It's weird, it's strange. I don't, I don't know. I do healing work and I listen to my intuition. <laughs> And whatever my intuition tells me to do, I do. And intuition don't have shit to do with your mind or logic. Your intuition is your gut. It is your inner knowing. Anyone who tries to tell you that you shouldn't listen to your intuition is trying to control you. Spirit, what do you want to say about that for people trying to tell people not to listen to their intuition? That's the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. You can't trust your intuition they're going to miss an opportunity they're trying to get you to miss an opportunity queen of pentacles they were trying to swap your queen of pen your pinnacle for a damn page of cups no <laughs> and have you in a loss right goodbye but the will is in your favor okay that's it it's over now Yeah, it's, it's done. And all of that, like I was saying, all of that was done to help you become stronger. Okay, stand in your faith. And people try to mess it up. What do you want to say? Spirit to these divine feminines who are going into union soon with their person whoever that person may be for them their person <clears throat> might not be who you think it is <laughs> what is impossible for people is possible with God thank you hmm that's a warning from spirit. What is impossible for people is possible with God. Right. Meaning everything that you that your ops tried to do to you to prevent you from having what you are trying to manifest may not be possible. It didn't happen with them. May not be possible to happen with other people, but it can if you keep your faith. That's just crazy to me. I just can't honestly people need to get a life that's what it is for sure people need to worry about their self so <clears throat> this is why you need to learn to use your own discernment um if you feel like you can't trust someone it's for a reason initial reaction is I don't trust them obviously it's for a reason it's your ego that uh, comes in and says oh no give them a chance give them a chance and then they show you who they really are yeah so that's what I have for you guys have a good weekend